Dry brushing is a technique where we apply a highlighter colour all over the raised areas of a model. It's a quick and simple technique that you can use on a lot of your models. So how do we dry brush and what do we need? Getting the technique down is really easy when you have all of our little tips and tricks when preparing the paint for your model. For dry brushing, you can use a few different types of paint, depending on what shades of colour you are after. The paints we'll be using are dry, layer and even base paints. To start off with, we'll be using a dry paint, Golden Griffin to dry brush over this Stormcast Eternal, which is already based in Retributor Armour. We'll be using a Citadel small dry brush, as it's a good size to get all those details covered without overwhelming them. Now we've opened our dry paint, you can see it's really thick, as these paints are designed to have less liquid in them than normal layer paints. We'll just pop the tip of the brush in and get a good amount of the paint on the bristles. On the back of our Citadel colour palette, there is a piece of cardboard. This is what we'll be using to remove the moisture from our paint on the brush, by brushing it onto the cardboard. This will remove most of the paint and the moisture as we keep brushing. There will be less and less paint on the bristles. This brush looks ready, and now we can use it to dry brush our model with our first technique. Directional dry brushing uses back and forth motions, or brushing in one direction, so it picks up on those solid edges easier, with a cleaner finish. This works more for defined armour plates and other details as well. Here on this dryad, we can highlight the top parts of the wood with Bane Blade Brown, and the Stormcast's folded cloth with Hoeth Blue. You can use the same preparation and application technique to get your layer and base paints ready too. You also have to shake these paints before using them, as they can separate out over time. You may find it takes a little bit more time to get that perfect dry brush stage, as we have more moisture in those paints. Here I've got a dry brush ready for the colour administratum grey, for a model that I'm painting by using another dry brushing technique. Circular dry brushing will pick out lots of details from many different angles. With a couple of passes around the model, the brush will hit pretty much every detail and side due to the nature of this movement. This works really great for a whole range of details, especially fur, skin and terrain. Always try and be as light as possible when applying your dry brushing as it may seem that you aren't getting a lot of colour on the model, but it's best to build up the colour with a few layers. This just helps avoid lumps and streaks on your models. Both these techniques work great by themselves or together, seeing our models of various types have so many different details. See what combinations work best for your models. And now you know all about dry brushing your miniatures. These techniques can be used on all sorts of models, big or small. If you want more help getting started with painting, check out our Citadel Colour Painting Essentials videos. We hope to see you soon and enjoy painting your Warhammer.